So Congress has introduced a new bill which requires all gun manufacturers and gun makers who sell AR-15s and similar rifles to pay the government 20% of all revenue that they make. So let's talk about this. But real quick before I jump into this video, if you agree that our right to keep and bear arms should not be taxed, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Also, I want to give a shout out to one of the main supporters of this channel, which is USCCA. Through your membership, you get training, education, and self-defense liability protection. So if you carry a firearm, I highly recommend you take a look into USCCA, and I'll put a link to them down in the details section. So like I said in the intro, in reaction to the recent incidents in Buffalo and Uvalde, Texas, there have been major calls for more gun control at a federal level. In prior videos, we talked about how Congress is trying to pass bills like H.R. 1808, which is a national ban on so-called assault weapons and large capacity magazines. Then you have the 1,000% tax bill, which was also being advocated for at the national level. Then you have the 1,000% tax bill, which was being advocated for at a national level against the sale of all AR-15s and similar rifles. Well, then the gun control lobby just introduced a new bill into Congress, which will require all gun manufacturers and importers to pay the government 20% of all revenue that they make if they sell any of these rifles. Now, if you're not aware, Democrats have already introduced a drastic bill calling for all semi-automatic centerfire rifles or all air-style rifles um, and also AK-style rifles to be charged a 1,000% excise tax. This would be a 1,000% excise tax on the sale of all so-called assault weapons. Ooh, scary, right? Initially, they were trying to pass this bill through the reconciliation process in the Senate, but ultimately they failed recently, but it doesn't mean that this is necessarily dead. Now, what does it mean that they were trying to pass this through the reconciliation process? Well, bills described as reconciliation bills can pass the Senate by a simple majority of 51 votes or 50 votes plus the vote of the vice president as a tiebreaker. This type of procedure expedites the passage of certain budgetary legislation through the Senate and can also override the filibuster rules in the Senate as well. Currently, traditional rules require that you get 60 votes of a supermajority to break that filibuster, which often is used in the Senate, but the whole reconciliation process in a reconciliation bill only requires a simple majority. So that's why they were trying to use and pass this bill through that process. Now, like I said, that 1,000% excise tax bill did not pass through the recent reconciliation efforts, but there's still some hope that that bill will get passed. Some people on the left, some of the Democrats are still pushing for that bill to pass. Now, what would happen if somehow they actually got that passed? Well, it would impose what is known as an excise tax on the sale of so-called assault weapons in the entire U.S. Excise taxes are taxes that are imposed on various goods, services, and activities as well. Such taxes may be imposed on the manufacturer, retailer, or consumer, depending on what the specific tax is doing. This excise tax, that 1,000% tax, would be in place on the actual manufacturers and retailers as well. But that tax would also trickle down to the buyer and the consumer as well. So for example, AR-15s could cost anywhere between $500 to $2,000. That means a 1,000% tax on all those types of firearms would add $5,000 to $20,000 to the final sales price of those items. The goal of this 1,000% bill is to really just make it next to impossible for someone to even afford purchasing these items, so they just decide simply not to do it because they can't afford it. I don't know about you, but most people can't afford to buy a $20,000 just standard AR. Like that 1,000% tax bill, this bill here, HR 8714, seeks to create a backdoor price increase to the point where the average person cannot afford to purchase these types of items. This bill, H.R. 8714, is titled the Farms Industry Fairness Act, which if you look at the cost of this, who is it fair for? Only for the Democrats that are going to line their pockets. This bill states that AR-15s are abnormally dangerous weapons meant for the battlefield. AR-15 style rifles have been the weapon of choice for killers responsible for the deadliest shootings in American history, including those recent incidents in Buffalo and Uvalde, it says. The bill goes on to state that the rifle makers and magazine makers have enjoyed an increase in sales of, over the last few years. Therefore, this bill targets the increase of that revenue to help fund community violence intervention and prevention programs. Now, the important language for this bill is, there is hereby imposed, in addition to any other tax imposed by this title, for each taxable year, a tax equal to 20% of the total revenue of each semi-automatic assault weapons manufacturer or importer. So this bill is going to charge a 20% tax on all the revenue generated by a rifle maker or a rifle importer. And that is not just the revenue on the sale of those rifles. It's the revenue of the entire company. So take, for example, someone like Smith & Wesson. They make rifles and they make other products as well and other firearms as well. 
Well, simply because they sell rifles, all of their revenue, all the money they make is now subject to a 20% tax. Now you may be thinking to yourself as a consumer, why do I care about this? This only mentions for manufacturers and for importers as well. It doesn't affect buyers. Well, you would be wrong because in reality, if a manufacturer is going to pay an additional 20% tax more in taxes on every single dollar that they make on all of the revenue across all of their products, what does that mean for you as a consumer? For you as a consumer, you should expect a 20% increase on all products across the board. And it's gonna be for all manufacturers and anyone who makes or sells these types of rifles. If this bill were to pass, you should fully expect that across the board, there's going to be an increase of 20% of all costs in the firearms industry. That is significant. And again, the reality and the goal of this bill is to price people out of the exercise of their right to keep and bear arms. They want to make this so costly for the average person that they simply can't afford to do what they want, to purchase firearms, to purchase other products, and engage in this type of conduct. That's really the goal of this bill, is to chill this conduct. So that's just a quick rundown of what's going on with that 1,000% tax bill, and also this new bill, HR 8741, which is that 20% tax increase on the entire firearms industry. HR 8741 is a new bill right now. So we will see if this even gets some traction right now. I don't think that they have a chance to pass either. I think it's more likely that they would pass the 20% over the 1000%. That 1000% tax bill would pretty much make it next to impossible for anyone to purchase these types of rifles. Whereas maybe the 20%, they could finagle it a little bit to say, well, it's not that big of an impact when we all know it really would be. So we will definitely be keeping our eyes on what happens with these two bills. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Also, if you like this video and like support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help to fuel the algorithm or fuel Al Gore's rhythm. It adds fuel to his jet and signals to YouTube that you guys see value in these videos and in this type of two-way news. Again, I want to thank everybody who likes, comments, subscribes, who hits the notification bell, who shares these videos. You guys are directly impacting these videos, impacting this channel, and helping me to reach and educate more people than I could ever do on my own. So again, thank you so much for all of your support. So as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And never forget, this nation was built by armed scholars, and this nation will be maintained by armed scholars.